Hello, in this video, we're going to look at a monopoly with discontinuous marginal cost. A monopoly has an inverse market demand of P equals 20 minus Q. Marginal cost equals 1 if output is less than or equal to 2. But then marginal cost jumps to $4 if output is greater than 2. The firm's fixed cost is $3. What is the firm's profit? First, we're going to get the firm's revenue, which is price times quantity. Price is this 20 minus Q, and that's all multiplied by Q. So distributing the Q here, we get 20Q minus Q squared. Now we're going to take the derivative of the revenue function with respect to Q, and that'll give us marginal revenue. The derivative of 20Q is 20, and the derivative of minus Q squared is minus 2Q. We're going to profit maximize by setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Marginal revenue is 20 minus 2Q, and that's going to equal marginal cost 4, and we're going to use the bigger number here for marginal cost. Subtracting 4 from both sides, and now dividing through by 2, Q equals 8. Plugging this 8 back into the inverse market demand, price equals $12. The firm's total revenue, the firm's going to sell 8 units at $12 each, or $96 of total revenue. The firm's total cost, out of this 8 units, Two units are being produced when marginal cost is $1. So the cost is going to be this $1 marginal cost over the first two units. And then the remaining six units of this eight are produced when marginal cost is $4. So the marginal cost of $4 over six units, we get four times six. And then we're going to add the fixed cost of $3. So the firm's total cost is $29. To get profit, 96 minus 29, we get $67 of profit. Uh, the way this is going to look graphically is as follows. We got the firm's demand curve here, the marginal revenue curve, which has a slope that is twice as steep as the demand curve, where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, that is 8 units of output, and plugging that into the demand curve, coming across the profit maximizing price of $12 per unit. And you'll notice over the first two units here, marginal cost is 1, and then at uh, two or more units here, uh, marginal cost is going to be uh, $4. Okay, that's it.